All right, we'll get started in just a second. Just gonna make sure the audio is coming just through. A second, just gonna make sure the audio Looks like we're good. All right, hey everyone, Ryan from E-Bike Escape. And as you can see behind me, we're gonna be unboxing another bike. This is the Velotrick Nomad One. We first reviewed their Discover One back last year around this time. And we're actually pretty excited to check out the fat tire bike. So this is their fat tire option. They also have more of a city oriented bike. That's the Discover one, which we previously reviewed. Now, before I get to unbo unboxing this, if you are looking to purchase any of the Velotrick electric bikes, we'd really appreciate it. If you use our link in the description before you make your purchase, it's a free and easy way to help support the channel and makes our reviews possible. So thanks in advance for your support. And let's firstly talk about price on this bike. Normally priced at $15.99, currently on sale for $200 off, if I'm not mistaken. Just going to verify. Yes, $13.99 on this bike. And the Discover One is an impressive $11.99. Now, one of the reasons that I do these live unboxings is really to answer any questions because it's just pretty difficult for us to keep up to date with all the YouTube comments and so this is not a tutorial i am not a not a bike mechanic so be sure to check out velotrix's own information on assembly but feel free to put any questions about this bike or other electric bikes in the comment section that's really what these videos are for so this bike is offered in two different frame options. So they have the high step model, and then they have what you see here, which is a step through. This is the mango color. One of the unique things about this bike is it comes in multi a multitude of colors. So you have mango, which is this color, cyan, sky blue, as well as spring. And their high step model, I believe, comes in, yeah, a few different colors here. So they also have indigo gray, uh, silver color, sand, and forest, which actually looks really sharp. We always like to feature the step through bikes because they're, of course, more accessible. And I like to talk about the perspective of someone who's a little bit taller to see how I personally fit on these bikes. And if you want a high step model, you kind of know what you're getting. It's always nice to feature these step through bikes. We'll start off here by cutting in zip ties with the side snips. And then we'll get to the assembly. Now the company is a relatively new company, but they do have some experience according to their website from uh, Lime and some other um, cycling companies. So they have some experience. And if you do own one of these, any Velotrick bike, I'd love to hear kind of your perspective. We're always looking to hear from others. It's always good to review the bike, obviously, but then here, get a sense of uh, what other people uh, have personally experienced on an electric bike that they have purchased. And we have been reviewing quite the fat tire bikes. All right, so we have the fenders here, front fender at least. And the tire is kind of wedged in here into the crank. So I just have to be very careful when removing this. slide it. Actually, it'd probably be easier to remove some of this other packaging. I think I'll be able to... There we go. Remove this protector. These are CST BFT tires. 26 by 4 inches. Fat tire bike. Bolt on front axle here. Got a protector on the other side. Set that aside and we'll get the front wheel on. Again, if you're just joining me that right now, this is the 
Velotric Nomad one. This is their newer fat tire bike. You can check out the link in the description. And of course, feel free to ask any questions. Looks, to, looks like the bike arrived in good condition. We'll see when we get everything attached here. Looks like the, oh, interesting. They actually put some padding here and don't have the battery actually inside the frame for shipping. But didn't seem to move at all. One thing I do appreciate, though, is that uh, the, they paint the cases of the battery just looks a little bit cleaner rather than uh, just keeping it black. And of course, that's an extra step that the company needs to take uh, because they do offer so many colors. It would be much easier for the company to just have, you know, black because if you were by chance to have an issue, they want to send you the right color. In the rear here, we have the box it says toolkit on it. Pop those, this open. This is actually a fairly large toolkit, a box. Seven hundred fifty watt motor on this bike that peaks at, I believe, twelve hundred watts according uh, to their website. We have a quick start guide, goes through all the assembly instructions. And then we have a e-bike owner's manual. If you are new to electric bikes, I highly recommend checking these out. Lots of good information about charging the battery and things like that. So I would say one thing that's unique about this fat tire bike, especially at the price, we have hydraulic disc brakes on here. All right, let's see what else. All right, so you have to attach the kickstand. I don't think that's a... A big deal but something that normally does come uh, installed and looks like it's just two bolts so that won't be an issue at all they give you a little bit extra wrap i'm sure this is for by all the cable management at the front that's always nice i like let's see what the other cables look like but i always like when companies take the extra step we have a three amp charger Yep, three amp charger. So going to charge a little bit faster than the standard two amp chargers. Reflectors and leads. Got some unbranded platform pedals. Looks like they'll get the job done. Another reflector here. We have the front light. Integrated. Uh, JT says the mango color looks awesome. I agree. I think it's really sharp. Between this and the uh, blue or what it, the cyan color, I think. Uh, but given we're going to be filming this in winter in Wisconsin, I think this color will pop a little bit more on camera. All right. Integrated light here. And the simple bell. Quite the number of accessories in this uh, box here. Standard bell. And we have a battery operated rear light. I do believe with the next generation um, bike, they will actually integrate it into the fender because this bike does not come with a rear rack. I think that was something that the company had mentioned. And we have a Velotric branded display so that needs to be installed does not come pre-installed and it looks like some additional hardware here i don't know if it's extra hardware but i'll put that aside as well so that's everything that was in the the box uh oh and we have the tool tool set which actually looks pretty substantial um yeah wow okay so lots of different allen wrenches here. Uh, looks like they even give you one. Oh, this is 15 millimeters. So that's going to be probably for the front. Um, maybe the rear as well, but that's uh, that's a different tool that I wouldn't have expected. And then they give you a little bit more of a substantial, I guess, uh, Phillips 
and flathead. Looks like they give you everything that you would need, though. I'm not sure if I see a... Uh, this has got to be the 15 for the pedals. All right. So let's keep on going, unboxing this. Pretty wide saddle here. Wider than average, I would say. Again, if you're just joining me, this is the Velotrick Nomad one. The fat tire bike. New offering from the company. This protector on the rear seems very wedged on. Let's see if I can get it off. Might have to wait. Uh... I might leave this on for now. It seems like that's going to be a challenge to, to pry off, but I'll take the additional packaging. All right. So maybe out a bit. And let's see, we've got the nutted front axle. Front suspension for. I have to remember I don't have a kickstand on yet. So actually that should probably be the first step. Swing these handlebars around. Hang them over the side. And yeah, I'm going to attach that kickstand because that's going to come in handy when I get that front wheel on. And my top heat tools. This will make a little bit quicker work. And these. This aesthetically uh, definitely leans on the design of the Discover one, their city city bike, which I think it's a it's a unique design. I I don't I haven't seen any bike that looks like this, so I feel like the company is you know has their uh, custom designs. They even have like a V built in where the fender attaches. Then they have this little unique part at the bottom by the cranks. So while these are hydraulic, I'm not seeing any brand on them. So I'll be curious to see how they perform. Obviously, I will talk about all of the specs in our full review. We'll be working on this review in the coming weeks as the weather cooperates here in Wisconsin. And I do see at least one comment, so I will check on that in just a second. Let's make some progress here. All right, so we'll see how this goes. Zoom. It's going to be in the down position, and let's, I think it's going to go just like this, and then in the up position, it'll go like this. Yep, that looks right to me. I think the reason that they don't, uh, they don't put the kickstand on is because it's so far back, which I do prefer uh, on the rear of the bike, but then this sticks out a little bit further towards the rear than you would, you would see on some other e-bikes. And so that would probably require additional uh, space uh, for, for shipping. I'm kind of fighting the box here, so we'll see if I can at least get this started.
got internal routing on the cabling coming out through behind here on the bike. So I would say as far as assembly goes on this bike, just a few extra steps, uh, given you have to put on the display and the kickstand. Got the motor cable coming in on the left side here. It looks like there are mounts for a rear rack, so I would imagine at some point if the company doesn't already have it, they will. Okay. I don't think it's going to sit on the kickstand just yet, but we'll see. All right, let's see what we have here. The yellow really pops and stands out from other manufacturers. Yeah, I totally agree. The color is very visible to motorists. Yeah, I love that. Uh, and yes, Honor, I do get to keep the bike. Aerial Rider Kepler is another similar option. Yes, I definitely want to review a Kepler. It is on the list. Lots of fat tire e-bikes on the market and Given they are so popular, I do want to feature as many as I can on the channel. Okay, so let's see. We have, I'm guessing we have a spacer in here. You do want to make sure you remove that, but then once you do remove it, make sure you don't hit the front brake. Get some of this packaging out of the way. And let's see, so the handlebars are going to have to be turned, so I will have to loosen that up. And I think what I'm going to do, cabling's all correct, so I think what I'll do is I'll put the front wheel on and then I will adjust the stem. If you are assembling this bike, it's always nice to have a second set of hands. Or, of course, have your e-bike friendly bike shop. It does help, though, if you put on the wheel the correct direction. Just notice that the disc was on the other side. I'll put the bike in frame in just a second. want to get the front wheel on. Now with some of these fat tire bikes, it's not as necessary that it has a quick release, though I do prefer the quick releases just because if you ever do need to replace a flat, it's just going to be one less tool that you have to carry around. I'm just trying to loosen the axle all the way up so I can get the tire on there. And there we go. All right. Now that the bike was at least up. I can take off some of the other packaging. <laughs> Hanner says that the opinion is biased. And what I will say to that is, trust me, I don't need any other e-bikes. We kind of pride ourselves on giving our honest thoughts on bikes. And it's really impossible for us to be able to purchase bikes in order to review them on the channel. And so I also need to make a living as well. So 
while yes, the companies do send us bikes for free, usually we only accept them if we already have a pretty good idea of if it's going to be a decent model. And uh, as I said, we have plenty of e-bikes. I don't really need any more. So it's not like getting the, the free bike is that big of a deal. We just ask that if you do purchase from any of the brands that have affiliate programs that you use our links, like the ones in the description. And if you decide to buy from a different company, that's totally fine with us as well. The best e-bike is gonna be the one that fits your needs the best. We try to feature ones on the channel that we think are interesting. All right, putting the pedals on, keep in mind that the left pedal is gonna be opposite threaded. So the right one's gonna go on righty tighty and opposite. They are labeled really nice, both the pedals and the crank. So kind of hard to mess it up. That's always nice. Shimano Altus derailleur here in the rear. And they have the mega drive in the rear here, which I believe is 13 to 34 teeth, I wanna say. I'll make sure in the review to state that exactly right, but I'm pretty sure that's what this rear freewheel is. And the Altus derailleur is a component that we see on so many electric bikes all the way up into the $2,000 price point. All right. Okay, so let's see. I think what I will do now is I will get that front wheel attached. I'll be on the lookout for your ride video. All right, thanks for joining me, Bubble Mag uh, Magic. <laughs> Good rebuttal. You would be very well in politics. Well, I have no interest in politics, so. So I think that this is a nice, I think this is a pretty handy tool uh, to attach this. So I guess what you would do is uh, just throw this tool and have it with you and you're gonna be able to remove that uh, front wheel pretty easily. Tighten this down. All right, I think it's time to get the handlebars sorted. smaller. This is the Toppy tool. Check out our electric bike accessories list. There's a link in the description. We use this tool all the time. You can buy the Toppy one. You can buy the Pro Bike Tool one. I will just say it comes in handy. Very, very nice tool to have. All right, so I'm loosening up. I'll tilt the, uh, the camera just a touch. And so I'm just gonna spin this around when I'm able. And we gotta loosen up the other bolts here. Again, if you happen to be just joining me, at least live, this is the Nomad One, their fat tire bike from Bellatrix. Link is in the description if you do decide to purchase one.
And we just need to swap this stem, just move it to the other side. And then we can get the handlebars on. Of course, these are all different sizes. Let's actually take the protectors off here. These handlebars do have our swept back, and that's nice um, for a more upright riding position. Let's see, make sure we get these correct. Left hand thumb throttle on this bike, and yeah, the cable management is pretty well done. Some of the best I've seen, I would say, on at least a more entry level priced bike. So I do need to remove this stem plate here and then we will put the handlebars on. They do have a Velotrick branded stem on here. It's not adjustable, but I think with the swept back handlebars, that is a nice bonus. And I was trying to look to see don't see any branding on the brakes here. Looks like locking um, grips, that's nice. Always nice when an entry level model. I'm not sure the brand of the fork, but it does look very similar to the one that we see on e-bikes between you know this price range and around $2,000 has a lockout on it. Gonna let these I believe this is a 14.4 amp hour battery. And again, just give me a couple minutes here. I just want to get the stem plate on and then I'll check all the comments and get back to everyone. Happy to answer any questions that I can about electric bikes. And once we're done with this, we still have the display to put on and the front fender and the front light. And then of course, I always do a safety pre-check before I ride any of these bikes. If you're not comfortable doing so yourself, highly recommend you take it to a bike shop, even if you partially assemble it. All right, we'll get this. Right about there. And if you uh, are watching this around the time that it was published, check out ebikeescape.com. We have a link to our uh, Black Friday sales page. And there's some amazing deals happening, not just on the Velotrick bikes, but all different electric bikes. We're updating that list, I would say, almost daily. And we'll have a video out on Sunday. We'll go through some of our favorite deals on the list. Okay, I've got these slightly tightened down. I will adjust them in a second. Let me check out the comments section here. All right, how does the build quality of this bike compare to the Event and Adventure? Well, I will say, looking uh, up here, this is, I remember with the Discover One, it was very similar. They've definitely smoothed out the welds here um, on the Nomad. They are a little bit more visible uh, down here at the bottom. I would say that's something that's really unique to uh, a vent in as far as uh, paying that extra attention to detail with smoothing out the welds. It just gives it a more premium feel. Um, but I mean, as far as other build quality, I mean, this seems like any other 
uh, electric bike that I've reviewed, unless there's something uh, kind of specific that you had in mind. About what I would uh, expect, if you will. All right, so I'm going to just get these handlebars in a position that I think will be good. That feels about right. So I really like the swept-back handlebars. I think a lot of people prefer them. Of course, there are other options if you don't like them. But I have to imagine that a lot of people like the addi additional comfort uh, that they provide. Just want to move them. And there's uh, actually really nice markings that uh, can help you. And if you're wondering, the, the, I still have to tighten down the, the stem here. I just wanted to get the handlebars since I was already had the correct size here. And we'll get the st stem tightened down. Get that front fender on. There are uh, front mounting points on the head tube here. I'm assuming for a front rack. And of course, if you are assembling this bike yourself, you do want to make sure that you torque everything down to spec. One thing that a bike shop will do is make sure everything is perfect. All right, happy with that. Let's get this wheel straight. Okay, and I need the other size. We'll get rolling on the fender. So overall, this is kind of what I expected for this bike. It's a fat tire version of the Discover One. Aesthetically very similar. And actually with the Discover One, that's a bike we did not keep. And so I didn't get to spend as much time on that bike as I would have liked. But this one will be nice because I'll get a little bit more time on it, especially if the weather continues to cooperate a little bit. And all right, let's see. We've got the fender attachments already on there. And I'm going to assume that this is going to go on the rear. And we'll grab that front light. Hey Ryan, I bought an e-bike today and I tried clicking your link, but I'm not sure if it worked because I'm from Canada. Yes, if, so if you purchased, um, depending on what brand, there's actually only a few brands uh, that we work with in Canada, but uh, I'm curious, what, what bike did you buy? Uh, congrats, I hope you really enjoy whatever model it is. Let's see, this is a 10. And... We really appreciate when people kind of take that extra step and make sure that they're supporting the channel. All that I ask is really, if you found our reviews helpful, costs you nothing additionally. And it's truly what makes the channel possible. Let me get this fender started here. I'm noticing, I don't know, someone said, so some of these bolts have white paint on them and I think that's so uh, you know if they're ever loosening up, but some people said that's for actually the factory's use, use as opposed to the uh, use of the consumer. 
But on this one, it's on the light bolt, which doesn't come pre-installed. All right, so we need a, I think this is a four. Yes, four. Crank down on this. Plastic fenders here. I mean, these fenders are almost universal, I would say, across brands. I'm not sure if they're actually the same, but they they look very, very similar. I actually like that pretty much. I would say a majority of brands at this point are just including fenders. It's always nice especially since the rear one comes pre-installed, which is actually the more challenging ones. The, the front ones are uh, fairly easy to get installed. Uh, what brand hydraulic disc brakes? I do not see a brand. I will look a little closer for a full review. Also brand of the battery and type of cells. Uh, let's see, I do wanna make sure, I thought they maybe said LG cells, but I wanna make sure. And I, they're advertising that the, this bike is UL certified. I'm assuming they're talking about uh, the battery. That's something that has come up. Um, so 14.4 amp hour battery, battery removable, obviously certified by LG or Samsung, according to their website. So for, what's, for what that is worth. The cable management and semi-integrated battery looks nice. Yeah, totally agree. Oh, I bought a Rad City 4 because of the great sale they had going on. The bike was only $12.49 Canadian, $700 off the regular price. Awesome. That sounds like a great deal. Yeah, we do have uh, Canadian links for Rad, but uh, it's hard to promote them along the U.S. ones because most of the people who watch the our videos um, are in the United States. So you would have had to go to our discounts code page and uh see the canadian link but no no worries at all all right get this fender attached and then we can move on to the display and i think that's going to wrap it up we do have some bottle cage bosses that's really nice to have And I think it looks really sharp with the cables too coming on both sides. Usually you'll see them kind of enter here. And another thing that I think is a small thing, but um, it's really nice that the battery is on top of the top tube, just a, a little bit easier to get access to. Not to say that you don't get used to the ones at the bottom, but uh, something that is just worth calling out. And with the 14 amp hour battery, I would say that's about average uh, in the market, and uh, if, especially if you're looking at this bike, though, at that $13.99 price point, that's a pretty good deal, I would say. You go into the $2,000 price point, you'll see the extra large batteries. Right. Get the other side. Nice that these bolts are already in here. single-sided chain ring here on the right side. I'd have to look up how many teeth it is, but. Produced by Velo Power Inc. Made in China. Velotrick Budded Aluminum. And then it says designed by Velotrick Team. And this comes shipped as a class two electric bike, though if I'm not mistaken, you can override it. That's going to be depend on where you live, however. So I will try to show that off in the, the video, our full review. Just gotta get this other bolt started.
it's always towards the end when you run into just hiccups. This bolt just doesn't want to go in. There we go. All right, nice. Got the fenders on. That's good. All right, and I can attach this front light right here. Should just be a quick release for a uh, lining up the pins. Oh, nice. I think this is one where you, yeah, where you actually screw it on. It's a little bit of a different connector than I'm, uh, I'm used to. It has a, a thread on it. And so you actually thread it, you push it in and then thread these two together, if I'm not mistaken. I believe it's on there all the way. All right, let's get the display on. And we're gonna need a small, I think a three or a two maybe. Two cables, one's gonna be the throttle. Yep, it's a two. One's gonna be for that throttle. The other one's gonna go to the controller. I think, yeah, it looks like it's just plastic mounts. You do wanna be a little bit more careful installing these uh, displays just because you don't wanna over torque the, um, the bolts and, and crack the, the mount. On the screen, the screen protector or cover says, it's time to refresh. So we'll get this. All right, so my tool again. And again, this is the Nomad one. If you're just joining me, link in the description if you do plan to buy one. And I would love to hear for, let's see, looks like we have 20 or so folks joining us live. What electric bikes you own or you're looking at buying or did buy, or are you looking at buying one on Black Friday? Are you looking at the Velotrip bikes? Always curious to hear from other folks. Now I will say what is really nice on really a lot of these electric bikes is the cables are, you know, labeled, you can't mess anything up. It's not like you're gonna uh, plug the throttle into the wrong cable that's supposed to go to the controller or anything. They're color coded here, blue and, and green. So while this is an additional step, it is very easy to do. And I'd rather have this than have a display or even the mount come cracked just because of shipping. Fortunately, that sometimes just happens. So this is a way to ensure that everything arrives in good condition. Almost got this tightened down. And I don't want to do it too tight. All right. And you do have kind of a tilt functionality, which is nice as well. So you can kind of adjust the display wherever you want it. I'm just going to tighten it there. And if I, and actually, I think that's pretty good. I suppose, yeah, no, this has got to be the, I thought maybe it could also flip it, but. All 
Now let's take that peel off and attach the throttle. Again, just line up the arrows. That's the easiest way. Attach this to the controller. This review will be out in a few weeks. Uh, it's actually extremely cold out. Felt like 10 degrees, 11 degrees with wind chill today. All right, let's, uh, I, I did notice I'm gonna have to uh, make some adjustments here already with the uh, handlebars. Didn't quite get it completely straight. That sometimes will happen. All right, let's turn the power on here. All right, nice bright backlit uh, display here. Looks very simple to read. Uh, monochrome display. Let's see if we can get the uh, lights on, at least the front light. This is the front light. Pretty bright, I think. And uh, yeah, front suspension. Looks like it was locked out. All right, so that's pretty much it on this bike. I obviously have some fine tuning to do. Let's see here. All right, uh, JT is helping me out. 46 teeth with an eight speed, 13 to 34. All right, and the shifter is a Shimano. I'm pretty sure this is the uh, Acera. That's the trigger shifter. So while they went with Altus in the rear, they have the nicer trigger shifter, which I actually really like. Um, so that's cool. Uh, equipped with Tesla grade, yeah, certified by LG, yes. Bike has good components at $1,400 price point and yeah, shared the drivetrain as well. All right, I'll give everyone about 30 more seconds, but this has been the unboxing of the Velotrick Nomad 1. We'll have a full review, 20 to 30 minutes on this bike in the coming weeks. We also have a bunch of uh, four in total fat tire electric bikes that we'll be reviewing on the channel. And tomorrow we're filming our Black Friday uh, video, so you can check out that. If you aren't already, you can go to ebikeescape.com and subscribe to our newsletter where we share some of the content that we've done over the last month, as well as, of course, share the best deals on the electric bikes, really at any given time. But in particular, we'll send an email out on Black Friday, so you can check out that. And of course, any links that you use really help uh, support the channel. And uh, let's see, I think that's pretty much it. Thanks everyone for joining me live. And we're came in under an hour, 48 minutes. So not too bad, even with the additional steps on this bike. All right, thanks Hunter, thanks for joining me. All right, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. How'd I do?